Turbo Camry, part 16. Alright, so now that I've got the engine mounts made, it's now time to bridge the gap between this part that I've cut out on the frame in order for the gearbox transfer output to go through. So I need to now remake the frame nice and rigid so that it doesn't flex around. Just using bits of mild steel. Always wear a respirator. It's not really the prettiest of things, but at least it'll do. After all, it is only a Camry. I think all this welding took around about two or three days, just out of cutting pieces and welding them in. Nothing's really measured here, it's all just done by eye. So it's all done and then put the engine in just to check everything clears. And then of course the power steering rack will have to be lifted up by about a centimetre just to clear that output shaft. So we've welded some additional tabs onto the power steering rack um, mounts so that it can be a little bit higher. So there it is, it's all bare metal at this stage still. You can see the power steering rack fits above the transfer case output. Next step will be to paint it. Pretty tight clearances in there. So this is after it's all been prepped. It's been sprayed down with prep wash and I actually painted it at night with a torch. This 2k um, can paint that you can get comes out really nice. It's uh, much better than a normal rattle can. As you can see the, the finish that you get on the on the surface is really nice. Quite quite shiny and really durable. So the next part is to make the gearbox mount. So I'm going to use this piece of polyurethane and I'm going to push it into there until it fits. I've got some um, Allen key head bolts that have gone into the polyurethane. And then this is a bit of a bit of steel that I've welded up and there it is. So that's all the mounts and the frame done. Until next time, bye.